Hello, my name is Emily and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a makeup tutorial. This is a summer makeup tutorial and this is going to have some pinks and yellows, and lots of fun bright colors, and this is just a fun way to experiment with some colors and looks this summer. So if you are interested in finding out how to do this look, then keep watching. All right, to get started, I'm just going to put my hair back. And now I'm going to start off with the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. And I'm just going to start putting that all over my face. Next I'm going in with the Neutrogena Clear Face Sunscreen. I have started wearing sunscreen every day because I have very pale skin and I need to protect it from those rays. So during the summer especially, but even during the winter, um, even if I'm just going to be out for a few minutes, I wear sunscreen because over time um, the sun can really have a negative effect on your skin if you don't protect it. So I just want to take all precautions. <clears throat> what am I doing next? Next I'm going in with this Clinique eye cream. It's the All About Eyes and it reduces circles, puffiness, etc. My hands are slippery. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. And I use my ring finger because it's the lightest finger and eyes are very sensitive so you don't want to drag and pull too much and I put that under the eyes as well all right now I'm going to go in with my foundation so I'm just using a beauty blender and I use the Clinique even better foundation this is in the shade I don't even know Flax. It's in the shade Flax. This is really good for acne prone skin, so I break out very easily. And I'm just putting some on there. Um, and so I was having a really hard time because I was breaking out due to a lot of foundations, but this has really helped, and along with some skincare that I was using, my skin has cleared up significantly. I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. And this is just to add a little more coverage to the foundation. So I just mix those together with my ring finger. Get the rest off. And then I just start applying it evenly all over my face. I'm just gonna add a little bit more foundation to my beauty blender. The nice thing about this foundation is it is really buildable, so it starts off, starts off on a pretty medium coverage, um, so you don't have to go all the way out, but you can add more on if you need it. So I'm just going to blend that out a little bit, and so make, you want to make sure that you blend down your neck and get on your ears as well. more of this master conceal just to cover up the dark spots and redness on my face um, because I do have acne and scars from acne so I'm just going to cover that up with this and this is really good coverage Revlon Coverstay Concealer. This is in the shade Light Pale. No surprise. This is a little bit too yellow for me, but I'm just going to blend it out and we'll do what we can. Okay, 
now I just let that sit for a minute. I want to let this foundation kind of soak into my skin before I powder. All right, time for powder. So I'm using the Master Fix setting powder. It's translucent and it's by Maybelline. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and put it in the cap. And then I'm using this Real Techniques foundation brush and I'm just going to start dusting that all over my face. And I'm gonna take some of that on my sponge and put that under my eyes. And then just go in and really cement that in with more setting powder on the brush. My skin is very oily, so I just like to really pack that on to try to ensure that I have as much longevity of my makeup as I can. Now I kind of switch up the routine of the order that I do my makeup every time. Um, sometimes I do eyes next, sometimes I do bronzer and blush, but this time I'm just going to go ahead and go in with bronzer and blush, contour, that what, etc. So I'm using this brush, I'm pretty sure it's just from Amazon, it came with a big set of brushes, it's pretty good, um, and I'm using that as bronzer. And then I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I've been using this forever, it smells so good it smells like a beach and i just put that on the hollows of my cheeks and the temples and let's just go in and then i kind of i kind of use an e shape to make sure that's all really blended I do a little bit on my nose, a little bit under my jawline too. I'm just feeling saucy. Under my lip. All right, now I'm going to use this brush from, I have no idea, I think I got it in an Ipsy bag. It's called the 660 Precision Foundation Brush, but I use it for blush. So I'm going to use this Tarte blush. I really like it. It's very pretty. I use it every day and it's in the shade First Class. My dog's trying to get in. So I just take a little bit of that and start going on the cheeks. All right, now I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter. This is probably one of my favorite products that I use because it's very versatile. I use it as a highlighter. I use it as eyeshadow like every day. So it is very well loved. <laughs> it's by NYX and it's in the color Narcissistic. So I use a little fan brush. I also got this in the set that that bronzer blush, bronzer brush was in. So I'm just going to go in with my fan brush and I put this on the highlights of my, or I highlight my cheekbones and I do my cupid's bow and my nose and whatever else I feel like. go in with that same powder brush before and just blend it all together. My dog is here. Molly. Molly, come here. <laughs> She's at my feet. And she hit her head on the table. Oh, you're so cute. Alright, time for the eye. Right, so I'm using the Urban Decay hello, Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my eyes. I'm kind of running out, so I'm just going to squirt as much out as I can. And apply that pretty liberally to the eyelids. And we're just going to blend that in. I'm going 
to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and this brush, which is the Morphe E20 brush. And I'm just going to pack that all over my lid to create a solid base for my eyeshadow. Oh, and I'm going to use this color right here, which is Ludwin, Ludwin? I don't know. Uh, but as you can see, it is well loved because it's just a great base for my eyes. All right, now it's time for colors. So since this is kind of a fun summer look, I am going back in with that same blush I was using earlier. And that is going to be kind of our transition color, uh, top color for the eyes. So I'm going to use a Morphe M441 brush. So it's just a very fluffy blending brush. Try to get some of that brown off there. And I'm just going to dip it right in to that blush and then go in on the eyes. And I'm just kind of blending this all out of all out into the crease, um, above the crease, almost up to the brow bone, but not completely. And I'm going to use a little bit of that underneath the lash line. All right, now I'm going to go in with this Sephora palette. It's called the Matte Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. It's, um, you can just give it Sephora. And I'm going in with this dark brown right here. And this palette is very dirty, but whose makeup isn't? So I'm just gonna use a little bit of that and I'm gonna put this in the outer crease. This is just to give a little bit of dimension. I'm going to do that a little bit underneath the lash line as well. Now I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. This has a lot of fun colors. And today I'm going to be using this yellow up here. It's kind of a light mustardy yellow. And I am going to use this brush. It is double-sided and it's from, I think, Eco Tools. And so I'm gonna use this denser part and I'm just gonna go in with that yellow. And I'm gonna go on the lower lash line with that. Now for the lid, I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown flat packing brush and I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to be using this color right here. It is called Marzipan. And I'm just going to put that on the lid. I'm gonna go back into that NYX highlighter that I was using before. And I'm going to dip into that with this Coastal Sense eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to apply that to the brow bone and the inner corner. All right, now I'm gonna go back in and just blend this all in really well. Now just because why not, I'm going to use this, uh, na I think it's Naked Cosmetics, it's old, it's a glitter, it's very fine, um, it's honestly beautiful. 
I use it more than glitter probably should be used. And I'm going to use this unknown <laughs> brush and I'm just going to dip that in and put that in my inner corner. Look at that sparkle. Now I'm going to go in with that same brown we used before in that Sephora palette and just an angled brush. This one is by Scott Miller. And I'm just going to line my eyes. So I'm just doing a soft line. I don't want it to be too harsh. I'm just giving a subtle shadow to accentuate the eyes, make them really pop. just very lightly on the outer corner on the bottom lash line. Now I'm just kind of brushing away some eyeshadow. So now I'm going to go in with brows and I usually use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz but for now I am out of that so I'm using the Milani Easy Brow and it's... Whoa! Hello. So it just has a little roll up edge like that. Alright, now I'm using the Maybelline Brow Drama Brow Gel. And over top of that, I'm using the e.l.f. Um, brow Gel. It's uh, just to hold, really cement them and hold them in place. Alright, now we're moving on to eyelashes. So I always start by curling my lashes. I'm just using a standard eyelash curler. So a trick that I like to do is to use a hair dryer on the lash curler. I just do it on a low setting and it just heats up the um, lash curler and it's like a curling iron, how you would curl your hair and it would leave the curls in. But this is to make sure that, the, um, that your lashes curl and last a lot longer. Alright, now I'm going in with this mascara by Clinique. All right, so now I'm going to use a makeup remover wipe. These are the Neutrogena ones. They smell like grapefruit. They are so delicious. And I'm just going to use that to take the makeup off of my lips. Now I'm gonna use some Burt's Bees chapstick. And I'm going to apply this lipstick by Revlon. And I'm going to apply this lipstick by Lev. And I'm going to apply this Ultra Matte HD Lip Color by Revlon. Hmm, that smells so good. All 
All right, so this is the finished look. This is just a fun way to play with some colors for summer, have that sunset, sunrise kind of look, and I thought it was just really fun to do. It's so fun to play around with colors and experiment with makeup and how you look. So thank you so much for watching, and if you are interested, I will be posting some more videos soon. Some might be more makeup geared, but a lot will be travel and lifestyle geared. So I'm actually studying abroad this summer in the United Kingdom so I will be in London and Scotland and I will be posting a lot of vlogs and travel themed videos to go along with that so I'm really excited for that to come so keep your eyes peeled for those they will be coming soon and if you feel so called subscribe to my channel and I will be posting new videos soon thank you for watching and bye